welcome back to another video. I'm really excited to say that a portion of this vlog is sponsored by Sky Cinema as I'm part of their Sky Cinema Club and I will be talking to you about one of the films that I have recently watched very very soon. Before we get there I just wanted to update you on a couple of things. I recently went to London and I'm so excited to tell you about this restaurant. I feel like London has been lacking a kind of fine dining plant-based restaurant and it finally has one. It's called Mallow and it's located two minutes from London Bridge Station, so great location. And it's from the people behind Mildred's restaurant. You know that I love Mildred's restaurant. Max and I went there the day we first met to have lunch. We also went there just before we got engaged. It holds a very dear place in my heart. And I think the food there is exceptional. And they have just opened Mallow which is 100% vegan, really beautiful interior, great location, and the food is just sublime. So we went with a couple of friends on Friday night and just had the most gorgeous time and ate such delicious food. And if you're in London, you live in London, or you're visiting London anytime soon, I would highly, highly recommend it. Pop it on your list. It is so good. And so today I have just been doing a couple of the slow activities that I love to do on weekends, like washing my hair, doing laundry. I also hand washed some of my really, really delicate items using my favorite delicate laundry liquid. I have also been cleaning my makeup brushes, which is something that I like to do once a week when I remember. And also when I can tell my makeup brushes are getting a bit gritty. Uh, and I just do that with a little bit of shampoo and conditioner. And I also took out the wax of a candle that I've just finished, my pot candle. I talked about this on Instagram earlier this week and a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, I didn't know about this. So when your candle has finished burning, just pop it in the freezer and for a minimum of two hours and then just run a knife around the edge of the remaining wax and it just comes out really, really easily. I must say more easily than it would if you were to boil water. And obviously if you already have a freezer, a tiny bit less energy, if we're gonna go to that like tiny, tiny, minute, individual action realm. So that was a good activity this morning. And then I just did a tiny bit of voiceover recording for a YouTube video that you might have seen. I'll li link it in the cards. And now I thought we would, oh, and I did have a delicious coffee. And now I'm gonna make some waffles for breakfast. Let's get started. To a bowl, I'm gonna add 225 grams of mixed flour, 310 milliliters of milk, and my pot of vanilla bean extract was almost finished. So I just added some milk to it, shaking it up just to get the final bit of residue of the milk one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a good pinch of salt. I'm also going to add in some cinnamon and then give that a whisk. Also, of course, you do need some kind of waffle maker for waffles. And I never had a waffle maker until about a year and a half ago. And we bought this and honestly, it's one of the best things we've ever bought because we have waffles all the time, both sweet and savory. So if you do really love waffles, these aren't that expensive and it means you can have waffles all of the time. If you don't have a waffle maker, this batter is also great for pancakes. So you could just make pancakes. But I am personally, nowadays, more of a waffle fan because literally all you need to do is just heat the waffle machine up, open it, pour in the batter, smooth it out slightly, and then close the machine. Wait five minutes and you're done. I've also just heated up some mixed frozen wonky berries to have as a topping. Music to my ears. Mm. 
I fancy her. Icing sugar. Hell yes. Where to begin? Clean kitchen, great feeling. It's a beautiful sunny day outside and I feel very calm right now actually, which is lovely. The sun is streaming in. I have decided to put on a little bit of makeup while I tell you about this month's film, which is part of Sky Cinema Club, uh, which I'm really, really delighted to be a part of. So, so far I have just put on a little bit of SPF and I've also put on a tiny bit of my current favorite base. All of these products will be linked down below. And I've also put on just a tiny bit of brow product. Sky have asked me to review one of their films once a month. You may or may not know that I actually studied film at university alongside English. It was a double honors degree. So I'm very, very excited to be given this opportunity and excuse to watch a great film once a month and also chat about it with you in a bid to encourage you to watch it so we can discuss it together. I've been so, so keen to do some kind of film um, club with you. So I'm really, really, yeah, excited to have this opportunity. So this month I watched Mass, which is directed by Fran Kranz and stars Anne Dowd, who plays Aunt Lydia in Handmaid's Tale, and Jason Isaacs, who you might know as Lucius Malfoy in Harry Potter. And it's about two sets of parents who have something absolutely horrendous happen to them. I'm not gonna give it away because I, I do think it's like, the thing that keeps you just wondering for the first half of the film. Um, but basically something awful happens to their children and it's about them coming together and it's about grief, it's about loss, it's about how you cope with when something violent and awful happens and it's about forgiveness. It's also, let's be real, one hour and 51 minutes of absolutely incredible acting. If you're an actor or you want to be an actor, you have to watch this film. It is just a complete masterclass in how to portray a character and be so convincing that the audience actually feels like you are legitimately this character. Some of the things that I found fascinating about the film is how it keeps you guessing and wondering about what on earth has happened because you actually don't find out until about halfway through. And also just how mesmerizing something can be when it is predominantly just set in one room. That might have been because of lockdown, I'm not too sure, but the majority of the film takes place in one room, which is part of a church and it's very atmospheric. This film would really lend itself well to theatre. Um, but I think the thing that I found so fascinating about it was what do you do in life when someone you absolutely adore and love does something illegal or unforgivable or something that literally ruins people's lives how do you come to terms with that and that was the thing that i just kept wrecking my brain about and i love films and tv and just any kind of visual content or anything really that leaves doesn't give answers and leaves space for gray area and asks the person watching to think, oh, I wonder how I'd act and what's the right way to act? Because I think we've become so binary and I just love it when there is space for not knowing or space for thinking one thing and, and not necessarily another. And that's what this film just does so brilliantly. And it's also quite hopeful in a way. I just, it's it's brutal and I, and I have to say it is, quite depressing in places and you definitely have to be in the mood for something that is intense. But the ending is pretty uplifting and it's just so worth watching for the acting alone. It also has some really, really be beautiful cinematography and it is, like I said, incredibly atmospheric. I really thought it was something special. I would probably give it four out of five stars. I just thought it was fantastic. 
But yes, just a forewarning, it is intense. I have quite a few pregnant friends at the moment and I keep recommending them things. And then they're like, just remember I'm pregnant. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. So forewarning, it is intense, but I would highly, highly recommend it. If you wanna see a trailer, just head to the Sky TV YouTube channel. And I will also leave a link to the trailer in the description box. So if you do watch Mass, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear. And I'm also gonna tell you about next month's film, which I am yet to watch, but I will be reviewing and it will be great if you watch it too, and then we could discuss it. The next film I'm gonna be watching is Book of Love starring Sam Claflin, a perfect film for February. I think it's a rom-com and it looks very lighthearted. So if that appeals, do let me know if you watch it and we can discuss it in the next Sky Cinema Club review on my channel. Just realised that my brushes that I cleaned earlier are still drying, so it's a no bronzer day for me. pains present this evening so I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching before we have dinner and I've done my usual thing of trying to set a kind of evening ambience closing all the blinds lighting a candle doing a bit of tidying up just find it very very helpful and very calming better for that. Word on the street is that dinner is ready. Wow, what's this? Is that tofu? It's tofu. Oh my gosh. Crumbled tofu. Broccoli stem and noodles. Dream. Peas. Thank you so spoilt gal. Skincare is done, hot water bottle is made. Keeping my headband on for a second just because I'm very greasy and I only washed my hair today. I've made a peppermint and licorice tea and I am gonna try this chocolate which is from Crosstown and it's the Yuzu Passion Fruit. That is such a welcome surprise. I didn't think it would be filled. What's filled? This chocolate. It's actually surprisingly nice. I wouldn't usually go for this flavour combo, but that's delicious. 
I will be enjoying more of this in front of the TV. So yeah, I'm just going to watch some telly with Max and then get an early night ahead of a fresh week. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Sky Cinema for sponsoring it. And I hope I will see you very, very soon. Sending you so much love. Goodbye.